Welcome back to North Dakota Today. We're in the Z-Line Kitchen at Advantage Appliance. We have Daryl Matthews from the Fire Pit. Last time Daryl was on, we had Layla. Who do we have here today? Ava. Ava. All right, I want to know, this time we learned your uh, sister's favorite food was mussels. mussels. What's your favorite food? Um, Dad's brisket. Dad's brisket. I think that's a great <laughs> answer. And I'll tell you what, Dad made us that last time I got to cook with him. Phenomenal. And so I want to know now what Dad's cooking this time. So today we're going to do our fire pit buns. Uh -huh. um, today is the first day that we're releasing them at the store. And so today you can get them, you can get them at the store today. Okay. This is our new release today. Okay, well, I, I love that. And so I watched you do a couple of ones that are in the oven right now. It's right. a little interesting, kind of how it starts <laughs> to how it kind of pans out. So I want to know what it is because I thought it was just going to be a bun, but it's right. a little bit more. No, so it's a little bit more to it. So we bake our buns fresh every morning in the store for our sandwiches mm -hmm. um, that you get. And so we just decided to tie in our barbecue with some of that North Dakota heritage, you know, a little meat, little dough, uh -huh. um, all at the same time. And so we decided to do that. And so here we have it. Okay, so these are the buns. You said they, they're done proofing or pretty much here. You kind of put yep. it on pause, but. Yeah, we put the proofing on pause. Uh, for what we wanted to do. So we'll just set those right there for now. Okay, so what you're doing is okay. kind of flattening it out a just little bit. Just flatten it out a little okay. bit. We're going to take some of our chopped brisket, mm. pork, sausage. Ava's favorite. Some of those, <laughs> absolutely. So we take some of those items. We're going to add in some of our house dry rub seasoning with it. Oh, okay. A little bit of our house barbecue sauce. Okay. More flavor, the better. Absolutely. So then we take some of our mozzarella provolone cheese mixture there. Uh-huh. Okay, more cheese the better. More like cheese it. the better. You got to have cheese. And as a binder, we're going to go a little cream cheese. Okay, I was I was like that's not butter. That's, <laughs> that's not, not sour butter. Cream. No. Okay, so this is an interesting mix. But So then you're going to mix that all up. Yes. Okay. So you get a lot of good flavor in there. Yeah. You want to get it all mixed up and everything. Now, so this is debuting today, so this so you obviously did a trial run. Absolutely. Um, does the ingredient of the mix change, I guess, per batch? Or is it kind of just like this much brisket to this much pork? Or? You know, I'm a very generous guy. <laughs> and so, you know, it, it varies, but, you know, we try to get it to be as consistent as possible. Mm -hmm. But everything we do, you know, is in-house. It's mm -hmm. from scratch. We do it ourselves. So, you know, it might be different just a little bit. Okay. Yep. No, you know? that's fine. I mean, you're a local company, a locally Absolutely. owned restaurant, so we love that. All right, Ava's getting to work now. So, yeah, we're going to put Ava to work. We mm -hmm. believe in having those kids work, you know. <laughs> Especially when it's the daughter, right? <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So this is what it becomes once we get it all mixed in. Okay. So we're going to take a little bit of that, and then we're going to... Do you grind it at all? Because that's no. a little bit... No. So This is all hand work. <laughs> okay, I was going to say, because that's a whole different texture. Yes, yeah. Okay. Different texture there, but that's once that cream cheese mm -hmm. is blended in. Gotcha. And the seasoning and the sauce. Mm -hmm. So Ava's holding that. We're just going to take it. And we're going to flip it around here. Okay. We're going to fold the dough in there. And holes are not a concern. Holes it's are not a concern. A <laughs> it's that good. That's what you want to end up with. Yep. We're going to take a little bit of garlic butter, put on there. Mm -hmm. Ava's going to brush it around. Is that for flavor or kind of to make it just, just kind of crunchy? Flavor, a um, little crisp, nice brown color. Mm-hmm. And that's how we're going to do that there. This is easy enough for a kid Absolutely. to help out, right? Easy you, enough. That's good, Ava. What's your, Ava, I want to know, what is your favorite thing to do in the kitchen? How do you like to help out Dad? I just like to watch him cook. Oh, I like that. What, um, uh, what do you like to do? Do you just like to help him out? Or do you ever do put anything in the oven? Um, I just watch him. <laughs> just watch him. That's She's a, good. a watcher. And then do you like to taste test? No. Oh, you just like the final result. I get it. It depends. On it. If it's sweets, she's going to be my taste oh, tester. If it's okay. sweets, chocolate. Dad has to know if it's good, right? <laughs> Here we go. We'll lay another Any one out there. Any girl likes chocolate. <laughs> so we kinda, okay, so this is kind of a different thing that you're going to This is a little bit different. Later. Absolutely. Okay. And so we just kind of stumbled upon this. So we had some ribs that was kind of left over. and Well, I like your story, how you kind of thought of this at 3 in the morning. <laughs> 3 in the morning, you know, we're, we're working at the fire pit. And so <laughs> I figured I was playing with those buns. We should just try this. So this is one of our ribs, mm -hmm. you know, that was left over. We got it cold. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to just put that in the bun. Okay. And she just wraps it around there just like that. Okay. So this is like the southern barbecue meets the North Dakota. Meets the right North here. Dakota, yeah. Okay. Same bun. 
Okay. Same bun. Now, I, I like the analogy. It's kind of like um, what are, the pigs in the blanket. Pigs in a blanket kind of, kind of style. Same thing. Yep. We're gonna set it here. Yeah, kind of that okay. same style. Yep. You know, sometimes we just like to have a little fun. Just, you mm -hmm. know, we create some new stuff um, on a weekly basis and just kind of have fun with it. You yeah. Know? So you're going to have this on the menu next week. But yes. you have, what are you calling this, the first one here? So this one is the is the fire pit buns. Okay, okay. So, you know, you can come in a day and say, I need some of those fire pit buns, you know. You can get one, you can get two, three of them, you know how many ever you want to do, mm -hmm. but yeah, you want those fire pit buns. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and they come warm already, obviously, right yes. out of the oven? Yeah, okay. right out of the oven, so cool. we'll be baking them fresh. You come in, you order them, takes a few minutes to bake them, but mm -hmm. yeah, we'll definitely have them fresh and ready for you. Easy enough, okay. So Easy then enough. The so next step. The next step, I got some in the oven here, mm -hmm. and I'm just gonna go ahead and get those. Yeah, they've been in the oven for probably about oh, 20 boy, minutes Oh boy, they now. look good. Oh, perfect. Step back, honey. No, no, yeah, that's hot. You don't wanna just careful. grab that one. So coming out of the oven, this those. is what they'll look like here. Yep. I like that. It's almost like a big meatball in the middle, I guess, but with the bun wrapped around it. I'm just trying to think of a different, you know, Absolutely. way to call that. And then the ribs look good. The ribs yeah. look good. That's a good amount of food, too. Now, is this kind of like a side, or how would you order this? Do, would it come with other sides? Because I know you can get the platters. You can when get you come platters, in. right. Yep. So this will come all by itself. Okay. You just want to have this. I mean, you don't need anything else to go with yeah. it. I'm going to crack one open there. I was going to say, those so are going to be really see. hot. Oh. I mean, that cheese in there melts yep. down. You see the cream And it's just delicious. Oh, I do want a bite of that. But I mean, I that's, need a that, second That's hot, to fresh cool out of the yep. oven. And so with these ribs, my favorite thing to do with those mm -hmm. is just twist that, that bone like that oh. and bring that bone right out. What in the world just happened there? I've <laughs> there never you go. seen that. There you go. You take that bun and then some of our house gold barbecue. Yeah. Oh, I'm telling you. Just load that up. Just load it up with some of that house gold barbecue sauce. You just take a bite of that. I'm in there's nothing that better. Be really hot. It's hot right oh, now, but you I, know. I want it. My mouth is watering. There's certain there. sacrifices sometimes you just make, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Not if I burn my mouth on it. I'm just going to have to try those. <laughs> I just got the bread, but that's really good. That's I'll good have there. To, it's, it's getting a little it's, hot. It's warm, so yeah. Let's give it a minute to yeah, cool off of there. That. Wow, that so, is, yeah. um, that's going to be really good once I get to the meat part. More Absolutely. butter on top. Yeah, we'll brush them a little bit more. All right, Daryl, I want to know what else is on the menu. You're still doing some um, Lent, the seafood boil, yes. fish, po' boys. Yes, so the po' boys on Fridays and Saturdays, they're still a go. Mm -hmm. um, the seafood boils, you got to get there early and get those boils. That's what I'm telling we you, sell, sell out. out. And that's just we Fridays? Or? That's what well, we do on Fridays and Saturdays. Okay, awesome. So, yes, and continuing on, we'll do Fridays and Saturdays. Um, let's see what else we have going on. You know, we've almost been open a year mm -hmm. um, next month. So April, Congrats. it'll be one year. And so we're excited about that. Yeah. Um, so in April, starting back on Saturdays, we're going to do our brunch menu. Ooh. We're bringing brunch to the fire pit. First time ever. Well, we we did it before. Okay. You know, a trial okay. basis. Wanted to see how it went, and it went really well. Yeah. Now that we're fully staffed and we have everybody in place, we got the right players for yeah. the game. So we're going to be bringing uh, brunch back. I like brunch. What about you? You like brunch? Mm. Oh, you better like brunch. You yeah. like a little brunch, some pancakes <laughs> a brisket, and oil. Pancakes yeah. and brisket, why not? Okay, so that's exciting. So you said next month. Next month. For the one year yep, pretty every, much anniversary. So starting battle. every Saturday. Oh, that sounds phenomenal. Absolutely. All right, I'm looking forward to it, Daryl. In the meantime, where can we find more about the fire pit and all that? Um, you can check our website out at uh, thebismarckfirepit.com or on Facebook. We post daily on Facebook, so all of our features and everything in the store we have them on Facebook. And the specials and all that. Okay, so you can get your buns today, then the ribs next week. Absolutely. We love it. Thanks for coming on here today. Thank you. Thank you, Ava. Appreciate it. Thank you. Keep it here. More to come uh, after the break.